This is Gadget at the Techstop.net, the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm Father Robert Balasser. I'm a Catholic priest in the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits, a religious order of the Catholic Church, and we're talking about matrix switches. For those of you who have never heard of a matrix switch, it's essentially a switchboard, a piece of technology that lets you take multiple inputs and multiple outputs and put them together in any combination that you find useful. It's a fantastic piece of technology, and we've got a good example of it in the Aten VM0404H Van Creest. The VM0404H Van Creest is a 4x4 HDMI matrix switch from Aten that can be a high-definition audio-video control center of your entertainment system, Soho setup, or digital signage enterprise. It's designed to give you an easy way to organize your HDMI inputs and spread them across multiple screens. Out of the box, the Van Creest gives the impression of simplicity. There's the switch, a remote control, and a power supply. Aten also supplies mounting hardware that includes four rubber feet for traditional entertainment center installations, as well as a set of ears to turn the VMO404H into a 1U rack mount compatible unit. The switch itself is 17 inches wide, 6 inches deep, and less than 2 inches high. The back of the 004 has 8 HDMI ports, 4 for input and 4 for output. The input channels are labeled A, B, C, and D, while the output channels are numbered 1 through 4. The front of the switch houses four buttons that correspond to the four HDMI out channels. Each button is surrounded by an array of four lights that correspond to the four HDMI in channels. The VMO404H is powered by a Xilinx Spartan and Cat Video processor. Of note to UberGeeks is the RS232 serial port at the back of the unit. The serial port can control all the functions of the switch, meaning that the Van Crease can be controlled by your PC, home automation setup, or digital signage hardware. Setting up and using the 004 is relatively easy. You connect up to four video sources to the switch, be it your cable box, PlayStation 3, home theater PC, Blu-ray player, media player, notebook, satellite box, camcorder, Xbox 360, or other HDMI-compatible device. You then connect up to four displays to the HDMI outputs of the switch. After connecting the power adapter and a quick self-test, the 004 is ready to matrix. Using the front panel, a user can connect any of the displays to any of the inputs. Pressing the button toggles that display through the four-channel input. It's an intuitive control that is mirrored on the remote, which has six buttons, four port selection buttons that correspond to the four outputs, and a set of port up and port down buttons at the top of the remote. You select the port you want to change, then use the up and down keys to cycle to the desired input. In our tests of the VMO404H, we use the source signals of 12 different devices, including two different Comcast cable boxes, one broadcasting at 1080p and the other at 720p, an e-machine set-top, two notebooks, a game console, and a desktop PC. On the output side, we connected everything from a 21-inch HDMI-compatible screen to a 42-inch 1080p display to a 24-inch DVI-only computer monitor. The multiple monitor effect would have been best if we used the same device type for all four displays, but we decided to mix up the displays to test the true flexibility of the switch. For more than a month, we had the 004 in a production environment, acting as the central controller for a home theater system and a mocked-up digital signage installation. How did it perform? In a word, flawlessly. Not only was using the switch so easy that even the non-tech-savvy members of our house could use it without instructions, but the quality of the picture and audio was perfectly reproduced, combined, and split across as many monitors as we wanted. The Van Creest is HDMI 1.3b and HDCP 1.1 compliant, meaning that pretty much everything can connect to and play through the unit. The switch supports 480p, 720p, 1080i, and 1080p video. Additionally, the VM0404H can handle 640x480, 800x600, 1280x1024, 1600x1200, and 1920x1200. Switching between sources took an average of 2 to 12 seconds, and the unit would automatically move to the next available video source if the active source was powered off. There was no discernible delay added to the video or audio streams, meaning that users of game consoles can use the 004 without worrying about lag. In short, the Aten VMO404H performed exactly as advertised. A specialized use of the VMO404H involves cascading the switch to other Van Creest units to simultaneously send content to a maximum of 64 displays. Such a setup would be ridiculously expensive, or phenomenally cool, and as such is limited to either digital signage applications or the mother of all man caves. The Aten VMO404H is available now. 
you can find it online for between $5 and $600. There's a lot to like about the VMO404H. It's small. It's easy to install, easy to use, very low power using only 9 watts. It does very faithful, high quality replication of video sources, even those protected by HDCP, high definition content protection, which means you don't have to worry about what devices you're plugging in. It's just going to work. It also has that serial port, which means that if you want to use it in some sort of automation with your small office, your home office, or your digital signage enterprise, it will work. It will be that unit that is the brain of all the displays across your enterprise. And in that sense, it's a fantastic example of an HDMI matrix switch. However, it's not for everybody. The biggest con of the Van Creest is its price. At five to $600, I'm betting that it's as expensive as most of the screens that you have for your high definition content. And if you just need something to hook up your multiple devices, your Xbox, your cable box, whatever other HDMI gear you have to your TV, your one TV, there are boxes out there, HDMI switchers that are cheaper and honestly better. In fact, there is one major drawback with using the Van Creest as an HDMI switcher, and that is that channels one and two, if you leave the remote on one or two, can be interfered with by your home remotes, by the camera remote, by our TV remote, by our cable box remote. And so in that capacity, it doesn't do so well. However, if you have multiple screens, if you need something to control those multiple screens, if you have multiple video sources going to those multiple screens, that's the application that you're going to want to look at something like the Van Creest for. And in that sense, in that capacity, it excels. If you are looking for something to control your digital signage enterprise, if you want something to control your man cave, if you want something at your small or home office that can connect multiple sources to multiple displays, then you gotta check out the VM0404H from Aiton. You can find out more about it by going to the Aiton website at www.aiton.com or drop by the tech stop at www.thetechstop.net. If you wanna send us an email, you can reach me at gadget at thetechstop.net. I'm Father Robert Ballas here, telling you that there's no uber geek without you.